Previously, we just done with the dashboard page and we're going to view our user profile page. Uh, fortunately, the user profile page has a similar structure so that we can copy from the dashboard page. What I want to do is that once user going to localhost 3000 user slot and pass the user ID, for example, 12, uh, then it's going to display a um, page like this. All right. So here we got the uh, user profile and then we got the list of all the gigs belong to the user and down below that we're going to display the review session. All right, similar structure. So let's go back to our project, open F controller and user controller. So first I'm going to create a new action name show. Okay. Now, as you know, the controller is a place to get the data from a database and handle the business logic. So in this show action, what we want to do is that we're going to get the user ID from here and pass into the, the show action as a parameter. And from there, we're going to get that user from a database. So first I'm going to create a user variable and I'm going to say user dot five and we're going to pass the params, which is the ID that we got from here. Okay. Now, once we got the user return it from a database, we're going to pass this uh, user variable to the view. All right. But first, uh, let's open our config rouse.rb and here and here just create a get. Uh, which is users slot ID. And if we, if uh, someone just visits the URL with this pattern, we're going to execute the user controller and show action. All right, hit save. Now next we're going to work on the view. So let's open view user and we don't have a show. Um, Page, so let's create one show.html.erb. All right, now remember that if you name the action as show, you need to name the view at show.html.erb. All right, real is about convention. Okay, so what I want you to do is just uh, click on the dashboard and maybe just highlight everything by pressing command A and copy, pressing command C go into the show page and paste in here. All right. Next, what I wanted to do is going to find all the current user and replace with the add user. So you can press command F, current user, and then type add user. Or you can click on edit and hit here, replace. All right. And once you're here, just hit on this one to replace all. All right, all replace with the add user, cool. So now we're going to work one by one. So let's start with the upload button and I'm going to remove this form actually. All right, hit save and remember, yeah, just give it like that. And for the form, of course, we no longer need the form. So I'll just, uh, or maybe, Okay, first I'm going to remove the form. And actually I'll just add a class, copy, put it here. And we no longer need this one. Okay. And the same thing with online status. I'm just removing the, the form. And for the class, yep. Make sure that you have everything correctly like these. And for this one, we no longer need the edit icon, so I just remove it. We don't need this one as well. Remove it. All right, hit save. Now, uh, Let's go back for the about. Okay, we just remove this. 
active content and yeah actually I can replace this one here and here and just remove this All right, hit save, and we're going to do the same thing for the language. First, you delete the form, and then change this one to article, and then just remove this, and put it up here. Okay, All right, uh, the link account, so for the linked account is a little bit different. Um, oh, one more time. We need to remove this one as well. Okay, that should be good now. Uh, for the linked account, if that is not verified, we just uh, display a span, okay? And let's say, Facebook unverified and we got hashtag danger. All right, hit safe. Now, because uh, we just update the rail, so it will be safe if you can stop the server and start again. Okay, so let's go back here. And I know that user, we'll start with user one first. Hey, awesome, Leo Chiu. Okay, from about uh, we don't have much information in here, so let's go with Tony Stack, number two. Okay, number two, we don't have one, actually is number three. Okay, great, so everything looks great. Now, next, we're going to work on the right side by displaying the gig, and no, we don't displaying the gig at the moment, but we're going to add some review session just for the dummy data. So let's go back to our show. Let's close the dashboard. And I'll just uh, minimize this one. And let's open the right side. Okay, so because we don't have the gig here, so I'll just remove everything inside here. We also remove this one as well. Okay, so just with the column. So inside here, I'm gonna create a new div card. And inside that, we just create a card header. And inside that, just create another div with the card, uh, card header, oops, header title, hit enter. All right, so here, actually, I can say uh, latest reviews. All right, so down here, I'm gonna get you one with the card content. All right. So down here, just uh, make a comment. All right, uh, sample reviews. So for now, we don't have a real data, so we just uh, create a mockup. Okay. Now here, I'll just say article with a class of uh, media. So inside here, I'm going to display the avatar. So let's going up here, copy this avatar. And down here, just bit it. Well, actually, we just uh, need to change this one a little bit. So this figure um, is need to be media left. Okay, and then down here, we're going to display a p tag with image dot is. Uh, it's the side v sixty four by sixty four. And then we're going to display this one inside here. All right, and then we're going to create another div, read class media content, and another div inside with the class content. All right, so inside here, let's create a p tag. And here, I'll just create a strong tag and we're gonna pass a name, let's say John Smith, for example, and maybe just make a break. And we say Lauren. 
you can type lorem and hit enter. So it's gonna uh, create the dummy text for you, which is very handy. And after that, just create a small, oops, yeah. And we say maybe 31 minute. All right, something like that. And then we're going to display the star on the media right by saying div dot media right, and then here we're going to expand the cloud star review. Remember that we just uh, added uh, in the previous task, All right? So inside here, I'm going to display the e tag with the class fa dot fa star. All right, hit save. And then here we say maybe 5.0 for the review star. Okay, now the star review we added in assess star seed star. All right, for the star review, so it's gonna display the, uh, the yellow color, font size 13 and font weight 600. Okay, so moment of truth, let's go back here, hit refresh. All right, awesome. So it's going to display the latest reviews. Great. Uh, one more thing. I think this one should be displayed yellow. Not sure what went wrong. So let's go back here. Okay, because uh, this one is actually it's a dash, not underscore. It's safe. All right, because this one. Yeah. So you go back to our web browser. Hit refresh. Yay! Look at this. Looks great, guys. So, so far you learned how the MVC structure work in Rails and now it should be easy for you to understand the basic jobs just like creating, updating and showing with the forms. So in the next task, we're going to work with the gigs uh, and the process will be a bit more advanced but there's will be a lot of fun. I'll see you guys there.